For the architects who wish to experiment with advanced lighting effect in their viewport, 3ds Max design delivers real-time photometric lighting and exposure control. Let's have a look at the New York Times building. The goal of this project is to create an even graduation of light from the base of the tower to the top. This is achieved with a cluster of light mounted at the base of the tower and on the roof of the building across the street. First, we start at the base of the model with an array of light mounted at a predetermined location. These lights have been set with IES file data loaded from the manufacturer. Our goal with the use of the animation is to understand how far up this row of light can reach. To help me visualize this effect, I can use the real-time photometric lighting directly in the viewport by turning hardware shading on with the shadow and exposure control. To preview my lighting color range, I will turn the pseudo color exposure control on by going to the top menu Rendering, Environments. In this window, I can adjust the display type and play with my display range. While moving my animation, I can see where, how strong, and how far my light are affecting my tower live in the viewports. Next, by overlapping the light of more luminaries control with layer, I can quickly determine if the solution is working or not. The renderable property in the layer management can now be used as feature to create light banks and toggle group of light on or off in the viewport. When turning this option on, I can see the impact of these lights on my tower in conjunction with the light at the base of my building. By playing my animation again, I can find what is the perfect angle of my base lighting to reach the light range goal. By turning the renderable option off of my base lighting, I can evaluate only the adjacent building luminaries. This time-saving interactive workflow with pseudo-color exposure control can improve accuracy of final renderings.